Hi, boys and girls. I'm teacher Regan. Once again, welcome to Easy Limo Learning Simplified. So today we are going to discuss combined operations, still under whole numbers. So in our previous sessions, uh, we discussed the operation signs individually and we explained some of the terminologies that we can use instead of the actual names of those operation signs. So that forms the prerequisite knowledge of this very substrand. So if you understood uh, our previous sessions uh, properly, then you are good to go uh, with combined operations. If you didn't understand, please create time and go and revisit them. So under combined operations, we are basically uh, bringing more than one operation sign in a single problem or in a single question. You can find a question that uh, wants you uh, that entails both addition and subtraction or multiplication and division of the four of them together so before you are able to answer or solve any problem involving combined operation you need to appreciate what we call board mass you need to appreciate what we call what class board mass board mass is simply an acronym this is an acronym Acronym that defines the order in which the order defines the order in which the operations the operations should be carried out in a single question or problem. So board mass, if we write it vertically, B stands for bracket. This implies that if you have uh, a part of your equation enclosed within brackets, then you are supposed to perform the operation inside of what is entailed inside the bracket before you move to the next step. Then we have OFF. OFF simply means multiplication, but it must be carried out first before the normal multiplication or the normal cross multiplication. Are we together? Good. Then here we have division. Division, after performing of you carry out division, then we have the normal multiplication. Multiplication. Here we have addition. Then subtraction. So this means if you have a single problem that has got all the operation signs, division, uh, multiplication, addition, subtraction, off and bracket, then this is the order in which you are supposed to perform your operation in order for you to get the correct answer. You cannot carry out the operation involving off before you carry out the operation of what is inside the bracket. Are we communicating? Neither can you perform the operations on division before you are done with off. In other words, follow this order step by step. Are we communicating? Yeah. So maybe to start with the, the first bit where we, we are going to discuss combined operations. Combined operations involving, involving addition and subtraction. Addition and subtraction. Combined operations involving addition and subtraction. So here, let us look at an example. Example. So you can say, Kieleweke, Kieleweke, sub-county, Kieleweke sub-county has 2,600 and 97 boys and 
4,517 girls in public secondary schools. In public secondary schools. In public secondary schools. The county government, the county government supplied a total a total of 8000 textbooks a supplied a total of 8000 textbooks and each learner and each learner and each learner And each learner was issued was issued with allow me to write the remaining part of the question on this side was issued was issued with a textbook a textbook calculate calculate the number of books the number of books that remained after issuance that remained after issuance So we have a sub county known as Keleweke uh, with a total number of 2,697. This is 97, sorry, 2,697 boys and 4,517 girls in public secondary schools. So the county government supplied uh, the schools with a total of 8,000 textbooks, and each of the learner was issued with a textbook, with a textbook. With a textbook, calculate the number of books that remained after issuance. So solution, solution here, we simplify our question in simple terms. So we are going to identify the number of boys. So boys are 2,697, girls are 4,517, and the total books issued Books issued, issued were 8,000. So if each of the learner in the school were issued by a textbook or a single textbook, that means that the total number of books that were issued is equivalent to the total population of boys and girls. So we get the total number of boys and girls so we shall have 2,697 plus 4,517. So here we shall have 14, 10, 11. Are we there? Good. 11, carry 1. That is carry 1 there. 1 plus 6 is 7 plus 5. That's 12. Write 12, carry 1. 1 plus 2 is 3 plus 7. That is 7. So this is the total number of boys and girls in public secondary schools. And if each of the learner was issued with a textbook, that implies that the total number of books that were issued to the learners is equal to the total number of boys and girls. Good. So you come here and say books issued, issued is equal to 7,214. So remaining books, remaining books will be equal to books books supplied allow me to denote that by bs books supplied minus books issued allow me to denote that by bi which implies 8000 minus 7214 are we there class good so if we subtract that we borrow one from here this becomes 7 this becomes 9, 
this equally becomes 9 and this becomes 10. So 10 take away 4, that is 6. And 9 take away 1, that is 8. 9 take away 2, that is 7. 7 take away 7, that is 0. So the total number of books that remain after the issuance are 786 books. Are we together? Yeah, so looking at this example, at some point you realize that we had to add and at some point we had to subtract in order, in order to, to get our answer. So in simple terms, what we are to do here, we had 8,000 minus the sum of 2,697. 2,697 uh, plus 4,517. So this is the bracket. We performed what is inside the bracket, which is addition, then we eventually subtracted. So in simple terms, without involving the word problem, that was the meaning of our question. So maybe just to give you a few for your personal revision, can give you a few. Solve the following. Solve the following. Command one have 2,413 minus 500 plus 784. Roman 2, that is number 1, Roman 2. Roman 3, we have 6,899 plus 300 minus 5,000. Then number 2, you can say Karen had or Joyce had Joy had a total of sixty seven thousand five hundred shillings in her bank account in her bank account. If at the end if at the end of the month she's expecting she's expecting Her boss, her employer, her employer to deposit, deposit thirty seven thousand nine hundred and eighty five shillings in her bank. Count. Calculate. Calculate her account balance. Her account balance. Calculate her account balance. If she paid a bill, a bill of twenty seven thousand five hundred and sixty five shillings. If she pays, if she pays a bill of that monthly, monthly. So 
Joy had a total of 67,500 shillings in her bank account. If at the end of the month she's expecting her employer to deposit 37,985 in her bank account, calculate her account balance if she pays a bill of 27,565 monthly. Please try and do that to test whether you have understood the combined operations involving addition and fraction and uh, subtraction. Otherwise, thank you for your concentration and your time.